Hello guys, how are you doing? This is Justy. I'm back. I'm doing this at a different angle and on a different camera. Um, this is my, I'm doing this video on my Canon Rebel T2i. I finally figured out how to do longer videos on this thing. It took me a year and a half to figure it out finally. I'm stupid that way. I don't look at the book or play around with this video, with the video mode too much on this camera, but now I figured out how to do this. As you can see, I'm going to be doing some layouts here. Some of you wanted to see some of my other layouts that I'm doing. I did four layouts, and what happened was, was it last night or night before? It was Tuesday night. I stayed up. I was up in, for 24 hours straight, and I was doing these layouts because I was bored, and I wasn't tired, and I realized I was staying up so long. But I... I finally last night I got some rest and I woke up with a de with a good with rest. So I'm not a zombie or dead tired. Anyway, let's get to the layout. As you can see, this is my this is a layout of me, and I call this red bike. Cause story right behind this is a red bike my mom's friend got me, and I decided I always wanted to do a layout, so I can these pictures and print out a copy of them of me as a little boy riding the bike and I wanted to do a layout of this if I could try and I think it came out pretty well so I'll tell you the products I used on this layout the white background is a piece of 12 by 12 paper from Colorback texture paper pack the green no the green and the burgundy reddish color paper I use like for for the from um the paper pad the six by six paper pad from Fair Skies from the farmhouse company and I wanted to use the green red because well this here this color ain't really a true red I can't really see it that well like a burgundy red and I wanted to use the green red to go, to match the picture because of the green grass and the red bike and the banner is from that same paper pack from Fair Skies from Farmer House six pack pad I wanted to do like a banner and they had like this paper that looks like different papers that kind of you can cut out and look like a banner so I used that and I popped these on those um sticky do's 3d pop dot dimensional pop dot and this on the bottom and this on the top are uh, um paper from that from basic grace clipping paper pack I got. I cut out a strip of twelve by twelve paper and put this down because it had like kind of a blue and whitish color and what I did was I put a little bit of white in between each dot with my white gel I went through with each, between each one dot after another and went through white with my white gel made it a little bit whiter and there's a little bit of blue on it so it kind of matches my shirt so and then for my um title red bike I said put red bike because that's about me riding my red bike and I'm very proud of it um I use my um Tim Holtz um these dress stains I got for Christmas called red bones and this is it right here Ooh, that's a little bit too close. Sorry, guys. If we can get it to focus. Red bones. Just things. They're pretty good distress things. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so I used that. I did that and I used um my um black ink. My black um yeah, what you call it? Mintento, Mintento tuxedo black ink thing. So that's what I used, and this is my journaling. Right here, I put pictures of me riding my riding my bikes, my red bike. Look how happy I look! I got this bike from my mother's old friend Don, and it's taken in the summer of 1989. And there's a picture of me riding my bike. There's me. 
There's me again. I look I look pretty happy. No, I'm still in training at six years old. This is me at six years old. So I'm still riding a bike on training wheels. I know how embarrassing, huh? Right, that's me. Give you a close up of all these papers. So now it's kind of weird because I'm I have such a small room and so limited space that my tripod taking up some space, and I'm trying to find trying to find a better way to do these layout shares if I can. So that's a close up of everything. So this is basic simple layout. Okay, my second layout is getting fuzzy. Let me see if I can put this on auto focus. Wait a minute, guys. I'm sorry. Change it to auto focus. There we go. This is my second layout. Um, sorry if this is at a weird angle. I don't got one of them. I I couldn't take out my stand my stand thing for my paints that I use to put my canvas on. But I have so much little space with the tripod and. That and I wouldn't have much room to, you know. So, sorry, this is at a weird angle. Hopefully, you can see it. This is a layout of my grandparents. This is really my grandmother's layout for her book. And this is, um, this paper here. That's from the, farm, the farmhouse com company, farmhouse paper company. The new, I think the new company and I like the paper so this is the flower paper from the 12 by 12 paper pack collection and you can't really see it but I matted I matted a little bit of um I don't know if you can see it but I matted a little bit of um a little bit of the paper here I matted it's from the color one, from that color, blue that I can't say, the color one paper pack collection. And I made each of these photos on there. And the stickers here is from the American Craft Letter Book Remarks. From the American Craft Letter Book Remarks, so stickers I use. And this heart, I put it on my bar that was a red stock but it's from that Walmart. I got some card stock from Walmart, but then I have, I think it has a name brand, but I can't remember the name brand. It's kind of a cheaper card stock, but it's it's acid free and all that, so it's okay paper. And the love I made with, um, the love I made, I cut out with my, um, silhouette cameo. And the, the letters come from that white color stock. I had a piece of white color stock from, from Colorback. And then what I did with my ink, I just went around with my ink gel pen. And just went around each of the black letters and went around the heart. And I took my black ink, went around the letters and the hearts, and around the edges of the, edges of the papers. So you can kind of see it. Okay, and the pictures are, um, the pictures right here, sorry guys, this picture right here is of my grandparents, yeah, there we go, these are my grandparents, when they were young, it's like taken in 1945, 44 I think, this is my grandfather, and this is my grandmother, this is my dad's parents. This is my dad and his older brother. When they were taken in 1945, because on the original picture, I saw it, take, it said taken in I think August 1945. And this is his, the, this is his sister and his younger brother. So there's quite an age gap between the four kids, because my dad and my uncle are closer in age than my aunt and my other uncle. There, there's a, like 10, 12 years age gap between. Between them, about 10, 12, 20 years they get between the two oldest kids and the two youngest kids. And this is what they look like now. My grandfather is not in this picture because he died 20, almost 20, 
four years ago. Yaki died in 1989. This is what my grandmother and her poor kids look like now. This is my father. This is, the, my, this is his older brother, his younger brother. He's the baby of the family. And that my aunt. Yeah, that's what they look like now. And the journaling. I'm not going to show you the journaling. You probably all seen it, so you don't really need to know. Just who when my grandparents, who my grandparents are when they married, the four kids, and how long they married and when my grandfather died. That's true, you don't really need to see it, so I would give you a close-up. You probably also saw the pictures, but I hope I'm doing these layouts right. I gotta find a better way to do it. So hopefully you guys can bear with me on this. I just kind of wanted to show some layout. So there it is. Alright, on to the next one. Um, this one is of my grandma's sister. She is the, my grandma's sister. She is the one, two, three, the, I think the fourth daughter in the family. And this is her and her family. And this is, um, the products I use. The background paper I use is from that antiques. Antique, um, chic, chic, okay, it's antique chic paper pack I got, is that one that I showed you in my past vlog, I just, I finally used that paper pack, um, cover that up, finally used that paper pack, finally, and this yellow, this yellow paper, and this kind of yellow paper with the writing on it, right here, that is from the first guy's 6x6 paper pad. And I wanted to use my 6x6 paper pad because I wanted to do some things with it. And not, I'm not a card maker. I might be someday, but I'm, not, I'm more of a scrapbooker kind of guy right now. And I wanted to do that. Um, this piece of paper right here is from the... Um, Die cut with a view called D C B Die Cut with it's D C W V Die Cut with a View Paper Photo Premium Premium I can't say it Premium can't say it with photos. It's a bunch of photos that are made in twelve by twelve paper that and I found this at Joanne's the paper at Joanne's on Corner. So that was a good buy. My dad saw it and got it for me. And this, with the root part, it's from that same paper, the roots. That is, um, that I cut with my paper, with my paper pad. With my, not paper pad, I mean with my, um, silhouette cameo. See? That's what I cut. And I was trying to figure out something I could use this with, and I was doing this layout, and I thought, I can use this with the layout. And the um the um black coat stock. I made all these papers with the black coat stocks with um the color box textured paper. I'm trying to use all my and this is from a scrap the, the paper I used. And this is um this paper right here. The paper I used that was from my scrap. That's from the color one paper pack question. It was a I think I used with a scope. I think I, did I use it with my scope. No, I used that. I cut that out with my um, silhouette cameo. This paper right here. So, yeah. So, these are the pictures of my aunt and her husband. This is a picture of my aunt and her husband. And this is a picture of what they look like now with this. They had six kids. Four sons and two daughters. And this is what the kids look like then. The youngest daughter, daughter, son, son. I didn't find a picture of the oldest daughter because I couldn't find one. My aunt, my grandma didn't have any in her pictures. When I got all the pictures, I couldn't find a picture of the second, the first, the oldest daughter. So that, so. I had to do what, what I could, but she's, in the, she, she's the oldest daughter right here. That's the picture I couldn't find of her at a young age. 
you know, they'll give you a close up of all the pictures. Sorry if I'm rambling on and on about stuff. I'm sorry if this is at a weird angle again. I don't know why I keep saying I'm sorry about this video, but when I'm looking at this, this camera, it's just at a weird angle. And I'm not going to redo it again, so. And these are of my aunt and uncle's obituaries. I'm not going to read it out because it's kind of private. It's not private. It's information I don't want that people know. So, that is the layout. Can you fold me of it? Sorry for the glare, guys. It's kind of trying to cut off the glare. There you go. And that light I turned on, not helping it. Alright, this is the last one, thank God. This is probably my favorite one of the whole layout because I like the colors. I kind of, it kind of fits with the photos, even though the photos are black and white. These three photos are of my aunt, my grandma's youngest sister. She is the last girl born in the family. And after her, there's two boys. And the, the two boys are the ones that died at a young age. And I might do a layout share of them because I already did the layout, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to. Because I already did the layouts and I don't want to take them out of the paid protectors. I might, I don't know. This is her and her husband, and these are their two kids, the oldest daughter and the son, who's the youngest. And I'm trying to figure out paper, and I like the blue background with the kind of white floor paper because these two were born in the country and all that. So I wanted to do some kind of country, and he was in the army, so I wanted to kind of do something green with little brownies. I don't know what color his uniform was. But I know they have probably different colors for different kind of uniforms. So I just went with the kind of greenish and the bluish because I liked how they match. So back, get back to the papers I use. Background paper is from um, that Clutter One paper pack. I decided to use that because I like the color and it kind of goes with the photos I guess. Um, and the um, washi tape here show you the washi tape. That is the green washi tape. And um, this is the, I don't want to use that earlier. This is the, I could just use my fingers and you know it. This is a green washi tape that I showed you in my haul video. I tried to use it again because it kind of matches with the whole layout. This is the blue polka dot. Because the way you're looking at it, you think these are the combo that are both the same Layout like the green edge and no, that's two different washi tapes. So if you've seen the pictures on my blog, you're probably wondering, but they're just two different washi tapes. I was kind of iffing, iffy about the um, using that blue and white polka dot washi tape, but I like how it is. So I use that. And this border paper right here. This border paper right here is from a scrap piece of paper I had. It's from that one, that cluttered one paper pack from that same line from this background paper. And I decided I had a scrap of this. I was going to use my cubic, modern cubic punch from EK Success. This is the punch. That, that's what I used. For this, I was just testing out because when I got my order in from scrapbook.com, I wanted to test out my punch. So I used that and I had this laying in my stash and thought I needed to find something to use it for. And I saw this and thought, you know what, I like the color of the paper. So I'm just going to grab this out. and see what. It, so I laid it all out and I liked it. So I put this down and I put it on top of here. And I took my black Zig, Zig memory black pen. I went around it. I don't know if you can see it. Let me, let me kind of focus it in. I don't think so. Yeah, there we go. This is the black ink you could probably see. So, that's what I use. And I matted the photos. I want to do two different papers. I matted the, um, that's from the Bow Bunny. E.T. Critters collection. The six, I have a six, six by six pad paper of that. Then I used, I had a scrap piece of paper of that 
green color box textured color stock paper and I wanted to mad that too so I mad that and I mad this on that picture and I like how it came out with the green and and I did the same thing here by using a different type of it's not it's the same from the same from that bow bunny and from the bow bunny and the green still so yeah it's a very simple layout but I like this one it's probably my favorite one and I use this is from the um it used to be white it was from that um it's from an insert from my pioneer photo album I took that out cut it up in squares and just ink this with distress stain with the peel green peel paint Tim Holt distress stain and what I did was I put the names on it and I inked around the edges of it with my black pen inked around the edges of it and that's what I did and it's a very simple layout so that is my aunt my other aunt great aunt and her family give you a close up view of it And there you go. And there you go, folks. That is my layout. My all my three layouts I did for you. Not for you, but for me. But for you to look at and for me to share with you guys. And hopefully you got this far in the video and hope you liked it. And I'm trying this on with my with my DSL camera and I'm trying to focus in it and all that but you know hey try on the air with this you know so well hopefully you enjoy that and hopefully you like some of my layouts I show shared if you guys have any any advice for me how to do this better than get a good setup to do these layout shares or any shares I do let me know you know so I'm gonna do this on my webcam and I decide how am I gonna do this on my webcam with my hands held up, showing and point to you, you know, it can be kind of hard, so I decided to do it this way, so, hopefully you guys are okay with, I'm saying this again, I don't know why, hopefully you guys are okay with the, um, the way it focusing, because it looks odd to me, so, anyways, that is it, I'm gonna go, and you guys have a good night, and I will catch you later, bye.